and it was a really cool experience. They had the lights dimmed out. It felt like a, like a super show, like next level. I didn't feel any nervousness about the people who were there, you know? I just felt like it was another digital tournament and I had the opportunity to be there. I was just excited to be invited because of the people that were in the tournament, you know? Final match of the first round. It's gonna showcase Gabriel Susan Gracie Baja versus Roberto Jimenez from Alianze. It was fast. That's how I wanted. I wanted to go. Uh, ready for a little water and ready to go for the next one. No expectations. I wanted to win, obviously, but. I, I didn't think uh, anything out of it. I honestly don't think anything out of most tournaments. I just hope for the best and, and see what happens. All right, guys, for the fourth and final match of the second round, we showcase Dallison, Suarez from Cicero Costa, and Roberto Jimenez from Alianze. I fought Dallison in the second fight. I, I took his back and choked him as well. It feel really good. Uh... I've seen the kid before. He's really, really good. You know, not don't let it change your mind. Just keep going. And I guess the next one is the same thing. Then I fought Gabriel Almeida in the third fight. I took his back and choked him as well. So I had Andrew Wiltz in the final, and I, I fought Andrew when I was a green belt like three times or two times. He destroyed me, like bad. So when I saw him in the final, I was thinking, oh man, it's gonna be the same thing when I was a green belt, he's gonna destroy me. I didn't think I was gonna win, but that's how I felt about Worlds, and that's how I felt about Pants. I know I can do it, I just don't, I don't expect anything. That was the first time I, I just felt relaxed and it felt different. Before I stepped on the mat, I felt something was gonna be different than the last time, and it was. It was crazy. I, I think I tried to do a collar drag and it didn't work. I ended up going for like a half guard and I, I spun like a tornado. When I put him up in the ground, I came up and I took the back real quick. And I just, I stayed really tight and went for the choke. We were about to hit the edge of the mat. And before we hit the edge of the mat, I, he tapped. All I could feel was just wanting to cry and, and and just happy, you know? That's the only feeling I, I've, I've ever felt whenever I win, just happy and, and excited. Honestly, I thought, yes, I won. We're gonna go eat now. And then they were like, wait, wait, keep your gi on. I said, why, what, are we gonna take a picture? And then my dad's there talking with uh, Bear and Joel. What do you think about doing a super fight? I, honestly, I'm not sure if it was my dad or one of them that came up with the idea. I got, I took him down, I got a double leg on him and everybody was screaming. And then I was like, oh fuck, I took him down, what am I gonna do now? He R-barred me and that was it. I wasn't expecting to fight him at all. 
but I'm glad I fought him. You know, it, it let me know that I can face these kind of people, these kind of high-level competitors, and and still improve. I didn't feel like I got uh, put down. I just felt more motivated to train after I fought that that super fight. Right now, I'm feeling all sorts of emotions. You know, uh, I came in hungry, and I came in to do what I what I needed to do. Whatever happened in the world, uh, it happens. You know, he training hard, we training hard, and everything is with patience and time and uh, training, training. I remember when he was a kid, he went quick and said, "You know what? You need to go and." It is what it is. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. It's the same in life. 